This is a once-in-a-generation earthquake for Morocco. The US Geological Survey timed the quake at just after 11 o'clock local time on Friday night. It measured magnitude 6.8 with an epicentre near the town of Adassel in the high Atlas Mountains. An aftershock with a magnitude of 4.9 was recorded just 19 minutes later. The main shock was relatively shallow, just 11 and a half miles below the surface. As a result, it's likely to have caused damage across a wide area. Seismic maps released by US scientists show intense shaking would have affected hundreds of square miles. In Marrakesh, around 50 miles to the north, some buildings were reduced to rubble. The old city walls were damaged and it was felt in Casablanca, around 160 miles away. The epicentre was around 350 miles south of the boundary between the tectonic plate that Africa sits on and the Eurasian plate that supports Europe and Asia. The two plates are moving roughly 24 millimetres or an inch every year relative to each other, with immense pressure being released in juddering seismic shocks. But such strong earthquakes are rare in Morocco, though poor construction can result in many deaths. In 2004, a magnitude 6.3 quake in Al Hachima on the Mediterranean coast caused more than 600 deaths. And in 1960, between 12,000 and 15,000 people died in a magnitude 5.8 quake near Agadir. Survivors of the current earthquake are likely to experience further aftershocks, which could cause weakened buildings to collapse, but they're likely to become less frequent and less intense over the coming days.